Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Hui Ying and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In today's video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of body systems. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 1. Which one of the following is not a system? Now, before we answer this question, we have to understand what does the word system means? What is considered as a system? When we say something is a system, it means that that something has to be made up of more than one part. So if the question is asking us which of the following is not a system, we are looking out for the object that is considered as a non-system. Since system is made up of more than one part, now can you tell me how many parts will the non-system be made up of? Non-system will be made up of only one part. So now it is our job to go down the options to choose which is the object that is only made up of one part. So since they're asking us which is not a system, we will look out for the options with a cross. Now let's look at option 1. Option 1, we have a bag. So can you quickly tell me what is the bag made up of? First, bag is made up of fabric. Anymore? Bag is actually also made up of zippers. So based on the annotation, can you tell me how many parts is the bag made up of? The bag is made up of more than one part. So if the bag is made up of more than one part, is it a system? Yes, it is a system. Since the bag is considered as a system, I will give the bag a tick. Now let's move on to option two. Option two, we have a squirrel. Now squirrel is a living thing, just like all human beings. Now let me ask you, as a human, can you tell me what are the systems that are present in your body? Remember, you have learned five body systems. So what are the five body systems that are found in all humans? It will be the digestive system, circulatory system, respiratory system, skeletal system, as well as the muscular system. Human being is a living thing and they are made up of the five body systems. Similarly to the squirrel over here, the squirrel is also a living thing, so it also must have the five body systems in it. So if the squirrel has the five different body systems, can you consider squirrel as a system? Yes, this is because it is made up of more than one part. Since squirrel is a system, I will give squirrel a tick. Now let's move on to option three. Option three, we have magnet. Can you tell me how many poles are there for a magnet? There are two poles. You have the north pole and you also have the south pole. So since magnets have two poles, it also means that magnets are made up of two parts. Is that correct? No, magnet is actually not made of two parts, but instead it is only made up of one part. Why is that so? Magnet is made of magnetic material. So actually, this entire piece of the magnet is made up of one piece of a magnetic material that has already been magnetized. So if it is just one piece of magnetic material, it is considered as only one part. Therefore, can you consider magnet as a system? No, you can't. Hence, I will put a cross for the magnet. Okay, with that, let's move on to the last option, option 4. Now, option 4 shows you a plant. Can you tell me, is plant a living or non-living thing? Plants must be living things. And all living things, they are made up of different parts. Now, can you tell me, what is the plant made up of? Plants are made up of the leaves. Plants are also made up of the flowers. Any more? Plants are also made up of the roots. And plants are also made up of the stem. So as you can see over here, is the plant made up of only one part or more than one part? The plant is made up of more than one part. So can you consider plant as a system? Yes, definitely. Since plant is considered as a system, I will give the plant a tick. Now, based on the annotation, are you able to tell who is the non-system now? Remember, we have to look out for the option that has a cross. And the one with a cross will be the 
magnet. Hence, answer will be option 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!